Hey, this is Nita with SimplySync.com. I wanted to talk to you about three books I'm reading this summer. The first one is called Women of the Word, How to Study the Bible with Both Our Hearts and Our Minds by Jen Wilkin. I devoured this little book. It is about how to study the Bible, and she gives you a little process. So her thesis is that you should study with purpose, perspective, patience, process, and prayer, the five Ps. Um, it was encouraging. It was convicting. I learned a lot of stuff I did not know, and I will for sure apply it into my study of the Bible. As you know, I'm always reading the Bible. So this summer, I started to read the book of Genesis, finished it. Now I'm almost done with Exodus. Now the real fun begins. The stuff that I only read when I have to, and I don't understand very well. So I'm glad that I read this book. And I got some great advice on how to navigate through books that might not be as easy, that I'm not very familiar. And I am so excited that I am uh, connected with a fellowship of women who love, who understand the Bible way more than I do right now, and who can guide me is uh, maryministries.com. I am often talking about them, so I will definitely have a lot of questions to my fellow attendees and also to our Bible teacher, Mary Willis. And the last book that I wanted to tell you about is Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. I heard Malcolm Gladwell speak a few years ago, um, and this is the very first book that I read of his. Of course, I used to read his articles at, in the New Yorker, and once the subscription dried up, I just never, you know, um, resubscribed, if there's such a word. This is an amazing book. To be very honest with you, I wanted his latest book on David and Goliath. And since there was an enormous waiting list at the library, I decided to get this one. So this one is about the power of thinking without thinking. I am a person who is interested in the mind. He is interested in thinking and how we should think and ways to make sure that we're positive and we get positive results. So this is an amazing book. It is very stimulating to my brain. And I think you'll like it too. I'm a person who enjoys the new media, social media, screens, but I also like to take a break and actually know what it feels to hold a book in my hands. So I think the summer is a great season to do that, to kind of fall in love with reading again. Are you reading something new this summer? And do you have any suggestions you would like to share? Leave me a comment and let me know. This is Cintia with SimpleCintia.com. Bye-bye.